just so much water here. I don't know. Look at that scene over there. So we got a bit of a problem as you can see the pond is kind of chocolate milk like. Uh, it's cloudy. We got a lot of rain and the pond is the lowest point on the property and the water finds its way there and as it gets there it just takes the sand with it. I don't have any grass around the ponds yet so uh, that's the big issue. The water comes in hard. It flows into the pond and uh, yeah I can't do any underwater video. It's getting a little bit better but it's such a silty there's such a silty sand here that it, it takes like two weeks to clear up the pond every time it rains hard so that is a piss off so I'm going to try to fix it uh, once and for all with some drainage. All of this water from up here ends up down here and it flows down there into the pond. All this water comes down and around and I think I can get it uh, an elevation to bring it all here and then if I can send it down this pipe if I set it up around here where I have this low spot this pipe is set under the ground gravity feed out here it's a good view here all of that water this will all be golf coursey grass that should take care of all of it and it just goes underground and out and not into the pond where we can keep that pond clean because it drives me a bit crazy when it looks good and then it looks bad for two weeks every time it rains hard there's only one issue and the one issue is i'm running an excavator and i have uh, about 30 hours lifetime on an excavator so it's been going okay i did this trench myself i'm proud of it actually runs runs from here with about 20 inches of uh, slope to the river so that should pull water um, but I'm not a professional so I'm just going to try to bank this up to keep all the water coming around here and then I'll fit in a, a great box that I have ordered, hook that up and we'll test it on the first storm. Alright so I'm going to attempt to hook up this catch basin. This is going to pick up all the water that I'm trying to pull around the pond, uh, catch it into this basin. It's very deep, I didn't think it was this big when I looked at it online but hey it's great to have the depth, all the junk can go in the bottom. So this is going to fit in the ground. I have a flange that goes on the inside like that and then my sewer pipe goes into that and from the sewer pipe I have an adapter that goes back onto the big O and that's that big O that we ran through this drainage trench that I dug a couple days ago. That's the plan, never done this before, pretty much just going by feel. Um, the only rule I know is water flows downhill. so. I've got a lot of drop on this pipe, it should run free. If I can get this box, this catch basin sunk in the ground at the right height, come off of it with my sewer pipe. I have my super tough sewer pipe. If you get sewer pipe, you want super tough sewer pipe. And that should then hook into the big O and water should flow. That's the plan. Again, like most things, I don't know what I'm doing here, but we'll figure it out together. So I think I'm pretty good here. Um, I didn't realize they did these rock stairs yesterday and that kind of sets my height here. So I have to keep this lower than this and I'm getting close here. So I think I'm gonna get dry fitted, hook it up and then see how it looks. I'm going to cut this sewer pipe down to keep more flex pipes so that I can play with it a little bit. I don't have really any play on this thing. So I'm just going to keep maybe six inches of sewer go into the box and then come on to that with the big O. So with the flange I'm going to silicone it and screw it into the into the catch basin. It's probably overkill. I have a bad habit of overkilling things that don't need it but it shouldn't come loose. That's the plan. I kind of regret drilling my hole this low. Uh, I would have used every inch I could get. I'm almost horizontal here, level with the pipe, so I gotta go with it. I don't wanna bring the box any higher because I'm kind of above where I want the, uh, the turf and the lawn, so I'm in a bit of a jam, but I think it's gonna work. I'm going to, uh, I don't know what to do with this, so I just glue it in and tape it. I apologize to any professionals watching, but 
I'm gonna give it some PVC glue and uh, glue it in and tape it. The good thing is I can get at it again. It's only six inches under the ground. I don't want to, but it's only right here. So we're gonna get this positioned and then cut the big O, make the joint, and do a little shoveling and try to get this pipe flowing downhill. I think I can do it, but it's really close. So now I'm gonna cut the pipe and with my luck, I'll cut it too short. Oh, it's gonna go in a little bit. Here, this one, this one. I'm gonna go with this one. Oh, I hope it's not too short. Oh, I think it's good. Maybe, maybe. Okay, so that's there. It was the right length. It's tight here. I'm gonna tape this seam. And when in doubt, just tape everything. That's what I say. I'm gonna tape this just so that it stays there. It's gonna freeze. We get really cold temperatures up here, so. I don't know if this will do anything, but it looks good. My buddy's a licensed plumber and he would definitely make fun of me for this, but I think it's pretty solid. It's actually rock solid. Um, looks great, you know, PVC tape. When in doubt, tape it up. So this is my view, this is what I'm looking at. I'm a little bit worried. I think we're good. It's definitely high in the middle. I'll, I will shovel that down and then the pipe goes deep into the ground there. So I can't adjust anything back there. Like I said, if I could have did it over, I would have brought this up a little bit more. Even an inch would have helped me. But I think it's gonna go a little bit high here. We'll knock that down with the shovel. I guess backfill this. I don't wanna sound not confident, but uh, maybe it is time to backfill it. Okay, that was way too much work because I drilled that hole too low. Made a couple mistakes here. I'm sure I made more mistakes and I'm sure the internet will tell me because they always do. Uh, the big mistake was not having the catch basin here when I, when I dug the trench with the pipe. Then I drilled the hole a little bit too low. So I had to bring the box up higher than I wanted to. All in all, I think this is actually gonna work. It looks good. I think it flows. And uh, we have a thunderstorm watch tomorrow so we might actually get a chance to see if this thing uh, gets some water in it. From here, I think we have the slope. I think it's actually going to work. I, I might have to tweak it a little bit here with some low spots. We'll see when it puddles. Once we get it rain, the uh, thunderstorm probably coming tomorrow, so that'll test it. But uh, it looks pretty clean. I'll have to change the, uh, the height here when I get some topsoil down. I'll take a little bit of this away, but all in all, it's pretty good. I think... Uh, I think it looks all right. I'm not really an excavator operator, not really a irrigation uh, or groundwater drainage specialist either. So um, all in all, it looks pretty good. So we got a hard rain. I can finally test out this uh, drain. And I have a bad feeling because I can see it pouring into the pond. I think it's just too much water. I had a pretty big berm built here and uh, it was holding on for the first 10-15 minutes but this is just a sad view here of uh, mud and sand pouring into the pond and making the water cloudy again. Uh, pretty good wash out here. My drain is in here somewhere. Uh, it's just too much water coming. All that water from over there. The drain is actually working, it just can't keep up. It's about, the drain's right under me here, so it's about six inches of water. 
And if we go over here, it's uh, there's a big cloud of mud going into the river. So it's it's pouring out of there. Oh, I'm gonna fall down the hill here. Yeah. It is, uh, it's flying out of there. That's a lot of water. But there's just too much ending up in that area down there. I don't know. We call that a fail, maybe. Uh, Could have used a bigger pipe, for sure. It's doing the job most of the time, but on these heavy, heavy ones, uh, that's just too much water. And that's a sad, sad sight in the pond. But that water's coming from all the way around and down here, so I maybe need a different game plan on moving some of that water. I have a little bit leftover sod from another project, and I'm going to put it in here, try to build this berm up, and uh, get some lawn around this grill to stop the debris from coming into it. I don't think it can handle the rain. I only have 70 square feet here of sod, but kind of get this shaped and sloped and see how it looks. A little bit of topsoil down and uh, get the sod down to try and hold everything here. Not sure if it's going to work, but I had some leftover sod, so we'll make use of it. I think this has to hold a lot of water to give it a chance to go because I did I down I undersized the pipe. So there's 70 square feet. Right? Yeah, there's eight pieces. So the ideal 80, thing, 80 you, square feet. you'd want to do this rim and the, around the grill, yeah, I yeah, guess, would yeah. be the only important part. Yeah. Really got to get the drop more here than where it was. Pretty good. Yeah, 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 that's what I think. Do you want gloves? Why do you have rubber gloves? It keeps the clay from getting the head. Looks good. Yeah, that's much better idea. So we got that sod down. I gotta thank my dad, he's always uh, ready to go on these projects. We had some leftover sod from something he was working on. I could tell he wanted to put it down today. I couldn't really talk him out of it, so kind of stopped what we were doing and a uh, little quick prep. That was not enough topsoil, but I'm pretty cheap on topsoil and who knows if this is even gonna look any good in a couple months here if it gets washed out again, but it's down. It's really, really uh, fun to put sod down half an hour and you kind of have an instant lawn here so full bluegrass sod should take here if I can keep it a bit damp um, looks good with the the drain in it I'll check in probably one more time before we finish this video to see if it survives a hard rain but hoping it'll just sort of funnel through a little bit of a half pipe we got going in the sod here I'm gonna put some seed down on the top so it's probably gonna get washed out but not that big a cost to throw some seed down. If anything takes hold, it helps hold back uh, the soil in those heavy rains. So just trying to prevent erosion and keep some water out of the pond so it doesn't look brown like this from the last rain. We're into late October here. Uh, it's the end of the season coming up. I just want to put a uh, bow on this drain video, wrap it up. Uh, the sod's growing quite well. It's like the cool, wet weather. The seeds even come together pretty good too. So I want to clean these leaves off. They're pretty well done falling off the trees. 
I'm going to get my mower out with the vacuum on it and we'll get this cleaned up. I love that mower, it just cleans everything up. Um, learn from the mistakes, certainly made a few mistakes this year. Um, I'll be really interested to see if this will hold some water next spring. Uh, snow melt, early spring rains, can I keep enough water going through there? Will this whole hill sort of wash out again? I don't know. Um, once I get the golf course going here and the grass and the turf, I think it's going to be less of an issue because that dirty, muddy water will be gone for good. Uh, it'll be fairly clean water coming through the, the grass and the sod. So. I don't know, maybe a little bit early on this to do it, but I was just so sick of the water pouring in the pond. Uh, it's still green. I'm struggling with the pond this year, as you'll see in my pond video. Uh, it's been sort of, uh, yeah, some kicks in the stomach this year on, on a lot of projects. That, that rock wall worked out great. The eaves trough pipe, not so great. The beach, just finished that, not so great. This, not so great. So it's, it's been a struggle, but um, just wanted to sort of do a video of this drain, a guy who has no idea what he's doing. Um, has an idea what he wants to do, but not exactly sure how to do it, and that's what we did. You kind of sort of roll with the punches and, and figure things out as you go. Um, so this will be, this is the end. We'll see what it looks like in the spring, and we'll see if there's a lot of water here in the spring. I'm sure there's going to be.